Hi loves, it's Sasha. Today I'm going to be doing a Wicked Elphaba makeup look for those who want to go to see the movie in style. And I already did a Glinda Ariana Grande makeup look slash transformation. I actually did two, which are up on my channel, but I realized I never did an Elphaba makeup look. So I'm not gonna be painting my face green, but I am gonna be doing like a glamorous, I look for Alphaba for those who want to see the screening and dress up. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And today I'm featuring just a green crown from Amazon. And I know that Alphaba is a witch and wears a witch hat, but I thought that a crown would be prettier, cuter for those who don't really want to wear a witch hat and want to be more, I don't know, glamorous and pretty looking as Elphaba. So I have this crown here and I also have the One Size Beauty Wicked palette that I will be using today. So let's get started. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and let's get started. So I primed my face already using my Cetaphil Hydrating Daily Moisturizer and I'm starting with my brows as I always do with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow. And I'm just starting out with my brows because it just gives me an idea for the placement of the eyeshadow and also the brows shape the face and it makes me feel better if I have my brows on first before I do anything else. So I first comb out my brows and I like to start at the front and kind of shape the front a little, fill it in at the same time. And then I move towards the middle, fill in what has to be filled in. And then I move towards the tail of my brow, fill that in because I don't have anything there. So I like to fill that in and then shape it as I go. And if you must, you have to blend it out after because as you're filling in your brows, the hairs move and then you have to reshape it and comb it out again with the spoolie. So done with my brows for now. I might come back to it, I might not. We'll see how the rest of it goes. Now I'm going in with my forever, what the heck is on? Oh my God, I've used it so much that like the writing on the back of this faded. That is so funny. So I'm using my forever skin correct concealer by Dior and priming my eyes and that's really funny. I don't need a new one because I still have product in here but that is really funny that the writing rubbed off because I've been using it a lot. And now we're going in with the palette, the Wicked One Size Beauty palette. And this is what it looks like. Isn't it stunning? For the premiere, I used the Glinda side of it, and today I'm using Elphaba, the green side. So even though I already set my eyelids with the MAC powder, which again is almost gone, I already set the concealer with this. I'm gonna go in with Eyes Me. This is just like a peachy nude shade, and I'm going to put that all over my eyes, just as like an overall base and I am now taking Emerald City this sparkly green shade in the palette I am so excited to use this and I'm going to put this basically all over my lid as well and kind of close to my brow bone too and now I'm going to go in with Wicked Screen Shade and I'm going, I mean, <laughs> I say the screen shade, we just went in with green. This darker green shade that's not sparkly and I'm going to put that in my outer crease. And I'm using more of a harsher hand with this because I really want each color to show. I'm not pressing down so hard, but I'm going in with a lot of this. 
And I am now using a little bit of Nessa Rose. Oh my gosh, this name fits perfectly for this shade. It's like a teal blue sparkly shade and then putting that on top in my outer crease. And now before I do the winged liner and go on to my lower lash line, I'm going to go on to my face. And I'm taking the usual Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Airbrush Flawless Foundation. And now I'm going back in with my Dior concealer. And I also like to clean up the eyeshadow with the concealer, make it a bit more of a wing right there. And now I'm gonna set all of that with my MAC powder. And now for the wing, I'm gonna go in with Wizard and I. And I had your soul lifted with the mic in my hands and the powers all shifted to me. I be J R E to the M. I'm also applying it to my inner corner. And now I'm gonna go in with flying free. This is the black sparkly shade in it, and I'm going to put that on top. I'm now going back in with Wizard and I, and I'm going to put that on my lower lash line just to bring everything down. I'm doing like half and half. So this half is going on the outer portion. And then I'm putting Emerald City, the sparkly green, right next to it. And I'm actually now moving on to the Glinda side, and I'm taking this white shimmery shade and putting it below my brow. I think I'm actually going to maybe squeeze it in a little bit in my inner corner. And now for some lower liner, I'm taking my Too Faced Killer Liner in black. And before we go on to lashes and mascara, I'm going to do my bronzer. So I'm using my By Mario contour stick. Got a contour on my forehead, cheeks, really make it prominent. My nose, a little bit on the bridge. Now taking my YSL bronzer, the mirror that I've been using, and I'm putting this on top to set it. And for the nose contour, so I use the powder to set the cream. And now for some blush, although Alphabet doesn't really use blush, like at all, but I'm going to be using the Alphaba Kiss Me Goodbye Blush in the palette. And before I, I always do highlighter last for some reason, I don't know why, it's just the order I do it in. So I'm now going to be curling my lashes. And it's time for the Ardell lashes. It's like no other brand really suits me for lashes. So I guess I, this is my go-to, it's always been. And you want to apply the glue and then you don't put the lashes on directly. You want to wait until it gets tacky because then it's easier to apply. So I apply the middle, the end, and then I work towards the corner, but there really is no particular way that, you could, that you're supposed to put the lashes on. I just do it that way. Gonna be 
And now for some lower mascara. I'm using my Essence Lash Princess Mascara. And this is the mascara that I use every day. I love it so much because, first of all, it's cheap. <laughs> but no, seriously, it's just like, I don't know, it just gives like that really nice fall slash look. And I got it from, and I got it from Ulta. So now, la well, almost last, I'm going in with my By Mario highlighter. And I'm now going in with my MAC Cosmetics. This is by Spice lip liner and i'm now going in with my morphe lipstick in flirt and this is a cream for the crown and that is it for the video i really hope you guys enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel follow me on all my social media let me know what you thought of this video and if you're going to recreate this look or just do some kind of elf of a makeup look for when you go see wicked which is in theaters november 22nd and i'm super excited for it to be out i cannot wait to watch it again Yes, I'm gonna watch it again. I'm so excited. And let me know if you are more of an Elphaba or a Glinda. I think I'm a mix of both. <laughs> and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye, loves. Mwah.